you ever have the feeling when you feel both relieved and sad at the same time? I had that computer for so many years. It served me well for five or ten years, but I haven't used it since 2012 or something. This is what I talked about in my last video, getting rid of garbage, getting rid of things you don't need, that you don't use. I'm still a little bit sad. Making YouTube videos is hard. Uh, first of all, you have to talk into a camera without response of another human being. And I also speak English, which makes it really awkward talking when there's other people around. So I'm trying to practice on that. The first store didn't have what I was after, so I have to go to another store and uh, make a fool out of myself again by speaking English in a small camera without the response of another human being. Great. So I want your help. I want your assistance or maybe I want your collaboration maybe because I want to know what you want to see, what you want to know, what you want to learn. So please comment down below if there's something special you want to see on my channel, if you have suggestions for subjects I like to learn. And if there's something I don't know, I will try to figure it out so you can see me as a resource. We're in the middle of March, it's still winter, but the spring will come probably about one month from now, April, end of April. But it's pretty nice. If you haven't made a video like this, you don't have a clue how much it is to think about. We have the lighting, the camera setup, all exposure and that kind of thing. The audio and the levels, background music or not background music. All the editing with maybe slow motion, speed ramping, cutting here and cutting there. But first of all, it's the story, it's the content. What is the subject of the video? What is it that I want to show? It could take days, weeks, months to figure out what I want to say in a video. You don't know how many clips I've deleted and how many retakes I've done. But I'm trying to learn. I'm still a rookie at this. Well, talking about being a rookie, one of the stores I visited, I was talking to myself a really long time and I had my camera set on slow motion, so there was no sound. I also met a good friend, an actor, which I interviewed in the store. And this happened. Idiot. You can also help me. What do I need to improve in my videos with the video and audio quality of the video? Let me know. Making videos like this is fun. I like it. And I hope it's okay that I'm trying to improve all the time. But it's also very demanding on your self-confidence. Is this good enough? What should other people think? I think about that all the time. I try not to, but it's hard. Doing YouTube videos can be a very lonely thing to do. Of course, now in the pandemic, we're all kind of lonely. If we can share experiences, learn from each other, maybe things will get a little bit easier.
so I chose Roger that as the name for my YouTube channel. And it's not because I want an alias or something, it's because my last name is complicated. My last name is Rådström. And it could be complicated for English speaking people, I think. Anyway, Roger That is also a meaning with Roger That. Roger That was invented sort of by the pilots who used the letter R for message received. I think R, Roger was R in the alphabetic naming system at that time. I think it's Romeo now in English, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So instead of saying R, they said Roger. And after that, it became Roger that message received. That's why. I also want to say that I appreciate everyone that watched my videos. Thank you so much. And it would help me a lot if you also contributed by comment down below. If you don't have anything to say, just say hi. Okay? And of course, subscribe, like, share. Those things really help me a lot. And of course we have a Swedish word of today. I really would appreciate your help and help in Swedish is hjälp. Hjälp. Until next time. Roger that.